Okay guys, so in this video we're going to have a look at supporting HTTPS in our application. So let's get into it. So here we can see that my application seems to be not working at all and the reason why is because I'm running on the wrong protocol. So if I go over to HTTPS and I run that instead, you will see that hey, the application is working, awesome. You will also notice that I have this thing called not secure and the reason for that is because I have use a self-signed certificate to actually do all of this and the reason why I do that is because it's a lot of work and like I don't want to go through the hassle of actually signing this for real with say either Let's Encrypt or a real CR CA provider or anything like that. You should absolutely do that if you're doing this in a pro production environment but for local development there it's not needed so if I, when, when uh, we wanted to actually miss, put this application into production we would have to do something like that. But let's look at the diffs. So basically what I've done is that I've created this little generate cert command that's going to use OpenSSL. And basically I just specified that I want to output this private localhost key. And then I basically say that, hey, I want this to be a self-signed certificate and I want it to be valid for 365 days and here I'm just specifying the outputted certificate. So these, that's these two files. So we have our private key which is the thing we use to sign or to generate the public key. That is going to be the thing that we actually use in order to or rather the thing we go, we're going to include in our certificate. And this is the actual certificate, which is going to contain some meta information and the public key. And that's the, this, is the, the, this is the information we actually send over to the client that, and that the, the browser or the client is going to use to actually generate their own set of keys on their end. And then we can actually establish a secure connection between us. Cool. So that's about it really and then of course I can look at this first. We flip the secure flag now as well because since we're running this over HTTPS we can actually set a secure session cookie so it will only work over HTTPS which is great. A little bit of extra layer of security there. And then finally we have this thing here where there's quite a few things that have changed. Let's actually go to this file here and see that All right, uh, what's happened is that we have specified our private key which is the thing, as I said, we need the private key to verify that the public key that we are going to get back from the browser has actually been created using this private key. And here is the actual path to the certificate. This is the thing that we actually send to the user or to the browser. And there, yeah, and then basically all we do is use nodes native HTTPS library and we create our server with our key and our certificate and we plug in our application, our Express app. And then I've added this as well because like in a production environment we would run on port 443 for HTTPS or port 80 for HTTP but in if that's unspecified we're simply going to run on port 3000. Cool and that's basically all there is to it. Uh, this will work in a production environment as well and will like it will just tell the user even if we put this on the internet that hey this is an unsafe site which is not great as I said but if we wanted to actually make this production ready we would simply have a proper certificate that is actually signed by a trusted source. But for now this is going to be good enough. Cool so now we have supported this and we can put that into yeah well we can put that into testing actually all right then next up is going to create a distribution bill for our application so let's have a look at that